So I'm actually interested in this. We found another clip from that Mav Hoffa interview. I'm gonna just have to watch the full thing. I suggest you guys go watch the full thing as well. But we did react to the clip about him speaking about him, his boy, and Natalie Nunn on this one. He is speaking about how much he got signed for and what he did with the money. You guys know he was signing Mace first. So he's showing basically right here what he did with the money the day he got signed. So he got signed, he's saying here for 1.7 is what I got from the caption. And he breaks down that 1.7 million exactly on what he did with it. The caption is, did he make good investments or bad investments? I'm not a financial advisor, but I am curious to see what an artist would do with their first check. Let's see down below. I want you guys to share your thoughts, though. Nobody knows what to do with money more than a broke man on the Internet. Literally nobody. You got to start an LLC. You got to flip that money, put that in a 401k, invest it. For, like, man's be irritating me on the end. Let's see what Fabi did with this investment. Hopefully an upcoming rapper sees this video one day and then kind of understands if he would do the same or is there some things he would do different. But when you're hit with that money right there and you never had no money like that, I'm sure that shit could drive you crazy. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below please share your thoughts we're on that way to 10,000 subs man um i got the 1.7 i didn't want him so what i did was he got half of that dip. so yeah he got like 700 and then 750 then i got the rest right. so that's how that went and then when i got the rest they gave me advance out of that mm. my advance was like 300,000 with that 300,000 so what i'm understanding from this is breaking down slow 1.7 he said he took half of that seven i think he was just doing quick math it wasn't half of that because if you're at 1.7 he took seven 750 you done at one and out of that they took out his advance out of the money he got signed for is what I'm assuming. He didn't want it all at once, so he got an advance out of that for 300000 That's when I went. That's what I, I did. I did the, well, the smartest thing I did was I bought a truck. But I'm saying I was 100000 right? Mm -hmm. So you had 200000 90 something thousand. Like, then I bought what kind of truck? chains, bulletproof Escalade. That's then I bought chains for everybody. 75000 But I had got set, so I think I got five at first. So it was probably like 50000 I'm just right. doing a match so you can understand where my money was going. Right. You feel me? When niggas was thinking, acting like they wanted more money from me, and I was over for it. I, my, my cousin right then, I didn't even give my cousins no jury, no nothing, no cars, no crib. My, you understand? Right. I got a crib in Tenafly, New Jersey for niggas, right? It's, go, it's not there no more, so I got to say where it was paid it off. I didn't even know about putting money down for mortgage or nothing. Mm. I'm just trying you to just hurry up and get niggas shit. out the crib. Right. So I just, I, it, was, it was the rent. It was a rent house. I did like 90000 on a rent mm. house when I could have put money down for it. Oh, property. Property. I, now I know I would never do that that's what I'm saying right there. You get me? These dudes is getting money overnight and not a little bit of money. It's not like they're giving him 20, 15,000 or something. What he originally said he got from Mace. This time is the big leagues. He's getting a big bag. So he paid what? Rent for the whole, just so the people can have somewhere to sit and chill at. He's saying he, it was a rental property where he could have put that 90,000 on his own property. Sure. So that's like 250 going. And I just knew I was going to make money. I was doing from shows and shit. So I got my crib um, rental. You know what I'm saying? With my kids and my family. You know what I'm saying? And I just kept it like that. You know what I'm saying? So when niggas be like, uh, this would make that mean regret it is like the ungratefulness. You know what I'm saying, and it's like, damn, you don't appreciate the shit I did. You know what I'm saying, and niggas, are, niggas, are, niggas, are, niggas are say, yo, King Bone did good for a nigga. Mm -hmm. I said, niggas that tell me, yo, I fuck with King Bone, look what he did. He split a hundred thousand in the hood. I'm like, damn, nigga, look what I did. You feel me? Say what I did. It's always like that. It's always like that. You say yes, 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 and that one time you tell the people, no, I can't do it, or no, I don't got it right now. Damn, bro, I seen you just had this. I, don't be checking the next man's pocket. This man owes nobody in that hood. He could have dapped all y'all up and said, yo, good game. Yes, he still needed it for his image. I totally understand that. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is these dudes are acting like he's their father. Like he owed them something. And that break my heart, man. The fact he even paid a crib for them to be at and take them all out the trenches, that's already enough. Gave them jewelry, that's already enough. His cousin, fam, blood is saying right there. He said he didn't get jewelry. He didn't even get to stay at the rental the way he's making it sound. This, this is crazy. But that's why you always got to be careful. You're going to be doing the most for the people around you just so they can accept you. Then it's not worth the relationship. That's how I look at it. If I got to break bread and do the most to keep you happy or to keep you not being ungrateful, you just not worth the relationship that goes for women that goes for men that goes for friends that even goes for family if you start pressuring me at one point like you my kid and i gotta do something for you not that you want me to i have to it's over it's over the whole relationship is over subscribe to the channel like the video we're on that way to 10,000 subs man you guys understand here and i do hear always the hood talking about how king von broke that honey that was crazy went back to old block and broke the advance right there that 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 was insane to me i ain't gonna lie to you that was crazy but what do you guys think about all this but fabi making it sound like he spent even more if you do the math like he was saying i spent 50 on this i spent so he's, made, he's like yo chill even if i didn't give you guys cash look at everything i did you should be grateful for whatever that man could have took you guys out for dinner and gave you guys a thousand each It'd be great y'all weren't the ones sleeping with him and his family inside shelters and crazy stuff but shout out to fabi man i wish the relationship with him and, and jd would have worked out a lot better because i did love jd's music i ain't even gonna hold you back there when i was listening to brooklyn heavy jd was probably one of my top under underdogs up there like one of my top underdogs in the city that was going crazy i do wish that would have worked out a bit better it didn't we just got to go forward subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below share your thoughts